Ah, oh, look at you guys! Our very, very hungry lionfish, ready to eat absolutely everything. A squirrel fish, butterfly fish, a cow fish! Hang in there, little friend. I know you don't have big enough pastures to be able to take care of yourself just yet, but we will get there. And all of our corals, who are currently not doing the bloop, bloop, bloop thing, but I promise you guys, they can do the bloop, bloop, bloop thing. Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to our adventures here in Mega Aquarium, where we are currently working on the private collection of a very rich entrepreneur who wants to build up their dream aquarium. I don't know why they hired me, but you know what? We're gonna do our best to try to make that happen. Uh, and right now we are currently watching over many, many tanks. I think I need to either train staff if that can even happen. I don't even know if I can train someone. Advanced talents? Like, can, can I train people? Do I have a lot of money? I, I have a decent amount of money. So you know what? Let's hire another person who can maybe go ahead and like, feed some of these fish. Feeding two, feeding one, fixing, feeding, fixing, feeding. Come on, I need, uh, let's go with Nigel. He can do a little bit of both. <laughs> oh my gosh, oh, we have a tired guest over here. I know what that means, it is an opportunity. Oops, okay, it's an opportunity to allow our guest somewhere to rest. Uh, let's put in another bench over here because this is going to be a nice spot to see our new deep wall tanks, which I am extremely excited about. So, all right, let's pick right up where we left off last time. We are trying to add in some nice deep wall tanks so that hopefully we will be able to complete the wish list that our entrepreneur has offered up. And uh, to be able to feed the animals that go into these deeper tanks, we need to have some stairs. So, oh, they're so cute. Connect up those stairs. Now we need to add any animal, sufficient water quality and sufficient heating. Okay, got it. So I think I wanna move over our cowfish. And can I put in a panther grouper? Mm, let's see, he'll eat any animal. Okay, what's going on here? Yes, the poor little guy. Oh no, more of our little knuckle crabs are being eaten. Oh dear, and the cowfish cannot grow up because it just does not have enough room. So we're going to save the knuckle crabs and we're going to save the cowfish. That is going to be the goal for today, friends. All right, to do that, let's go ahead and get the power mini attached over here. And let's also expand the staff area so that they'll have access to some of the food that they may need back here too. Uh, and then let's try to grab the cowfish. Come here, little one. There you go, Bessie. Hopefully we'll be able to protect you over here. Oh, the cowfish needs to have a more powerful heater. Um, so let's put down a pump then. So we're gonna need a basic pump connecting to here and we're gonna need more heat. There we go. Yay, the cowfish is gonna be okay. Not prestigious, prestigious even. <gasps> I wonder why not prestigious. Oh no, why isn't it prestigious? It looks like a bit of a boar. <gasps> it does kind of look like a bit of a boar and we need to get prestige up. So let's see how we can handle this. All right, do I have, I have one hermit crab left. <laughs> it's doing its best to try to survive the poor thing. So I'm gonna go ahead and move the little hermit crab. Uh, and then let's come over here and let's see what else we can work on. Cause now we need to get to rank five, which I think we can do pretty soon. Let's get some kelp in here. How's that? Yeah, yeah, you guys like that kelp? Cause I like that kelp. <gasps> and the cowfish just grew up, yay! As a, uh, as a result, let's see, has grown to size nine. As a result, Longhorn Cowfish One takes up additional space in their tank, eats more, and contributes more to lowering water quality. In addition, it can now eat tank mates up to size three. Oh no! Hermit crab! You're not safe here, friend! This is this is bad news for a hermit crab. We've gotta get another power combo thing over here. And we've also gotta pick up the hermit crab. You're going in here now, buddy. Hang in there. Oh geez, and that's still not, you know what? Let's get rid of these minis. It's still not enough heating and cooling for the little one. All right, let's put this down here and let's come over and get the filtration going. Oh, there we go. Hopefully everything will be okay now. Hang in there, little buddy. <laughs> He's had such a hard time. He really has. Uh, so the oblique line Dottiebacks are 
bullies and they will pester wimps but i don't think that they will actually try to eat my hermit crab so we'll go ahead and put the oblique line dotty back in there to see what it looks like it also loves rocks so we'll add in some rocks for it and then let's see oblique line dotty back it cannot be housed with anything in this category however i think the the damsels we could put in some of the like king damsels or the panther grouper yeah i want to put in the panther grouper oh wait he'll eat no he'll eat crustacean size one to two i i feel so badly for our tiny itty bitty little little hermit crab i've been trying to save its life the whole time but maybe we can put in the panther grouper oh my gosh it's beautiful can i put in a couple of them and then add in the rocks they want let's see i think i'm gonna have to go instead of with rocks with driftwood caves they're so pretty i didn't know i love panther groupers but i love panther groupers and they're gonna need much stronger filtration systems as well all right we'll probably be out of here pretty soon because our private employer i think we fulfilled their wish list and we'll, we'll get a new job somewhere where we can pretend we were able to do what they needed. Uh, let's get another powerful filter installed. Let's do a large filter. Boom. And now we're able to take care of the grouper. <gasps> oh, I'm so proud. Oh, wait. I think you can lose prestige because I'm pretty sure we, we're we losing prestige right now. Somehow. What? I'm losing prestige. How? It looks like it's gaining to me. Because people need a place to sit and rest. Okay, I can provide that. Here you guys go. Have a couple benches. So y'all can, can rest and check out our fish. Uh, gosh. Come on, sir. Sit down. Stop taking my prestige from me. And then let's see what else I can put in. Maybe some dotty backs? Wait, no. I think I just had that whole conversation with myself about dotty backs. Uh, fox-faced rabbit fish. Dislikes food competitors. Won't go in with other species who eat green pellets. But I think we're okay there. So we'll add a fox-faced rabbit fish over here. And then... What about... More hermit crabs. Since so many of my poor little hermit crabs were taken from me, I'm gonna put in a few over here. And everybody should be okay. I should just have like a tank full of happy hermit crabs now. And no need to worry about anything. Alright, let's put down some kelp to make it nice and pretty. I love it. That's so nice. And then we can put in some decorations. Alright, where are my decorations? This is a mess. And I fully admit and understand that this all this whole aquarium could be a little bit neater. But you know what? The important thing is my hermit crabs are safe now. <laughs> uh, let's see. And I can put in like a little shell decoration for them. Boom! Oh wait, now we need toilets. <laughs> All right, so now we need to build three toilets for our guests to relieve themselves. Uh, let's actually put those maybe back here. This seems like a good spot, isn't he? So we'll make a little toilet zone. Put in a little wall. There we go. And then now guests will be able to come over here. One, two, three. And then let me go ahead and kind of put a wall up there to make it look a little nicer. And we can put over a nice bin. You know, we'll put a bin over here and then we can even add in a little bit of decoration to try to make this place look even tidier. Let's see. Oh, there's a sponge sink. <gasps> Whoa. So we can actually, oh, because we're probably going to need to clean the bathrooms. <gasps> that makes so much sense to me. So I'm going to proactively put in a sponge sink for our staff and a staff door right over here. So that hopefully people will be able to use the toilet if they need to. Uh, it also looks like people are stuck because they're silly. Y'all can like come this way. You're, you're all right. Wait, do you need more toilets? Maybe they need more toilets. <laughs> now suddenly I have like preschoolers I'm worried about. This is kind of hilarious. All right, and then let's put a couple things for them to 
get drinks from over here. They have a bench if they need to sit and wait for the toilet to be available. Uh, and then let's decorate a little bit with a barrel in the corner. Because I think that's just thematic and cute. I'm going to put another barrel over here. There we go. All right, are these like occupied or something? Are y'all good? Well, we'll figure it out eventually. And I'm losing prestige again. No! That's not good. That's the opposite of what I want. Here, let's try making this main tank fancier. And maybe people will calm down and be happier with me. And we're going to try making it fancier by adding in... Let's see. Another little walled spot here. And I'm going to actually move the vending machine down a little bit. So that I can put a more powerful filter. Hello, random people getting stuck in my wall of doom. Hello, Ashlea. Sorry about that. I'm trying to add in a more powerful filter and you just kind of got in the way. There. Yay! Okay, I think that'll help the prestige of this place go up a lot more because now everybody will be taken care of. Um, also, I might want to get some more food dispensers out and about and that may actually help too. Because I think the number of food dispensers, muscle dispenser, it has a limited capacity. Oh, no wonder everybody's always like, I'm starving to death, help. All right, let's put down some extra dispensers then. There we go. And yay, we ranked up. Woo, rank five. <gasps> what are all these? Schooling banner fish, the power pump, the large protein skimmer, the Belfast tank, the blue tubular sponge, porcupine puffer fish, one of my favorites, palm trees, nets, oh, new plants, harborside paint. Let's go. Great job. The creator is ready to reveal the list. It centers around three corals, the blue tubular sponge, daisy star polyps, and toadstool leather coral. To provide higher light levels these cor that these corals demand, you need the power light. And w after this, you can obtain the blue tubular sponge in the normal way by unlocking it with ecology. The remaining corals will need to be sourced from third parties. I've arranged contacts for two such parties who should be able to help you. Sweet! All right, let's go ahead and start studying. Uh, ooh, rounded tank. And some animals require rounded tanks. My mind is blown every time I think I have discovered all of the layers of complexity that running our aquariums would require. There's even more waiting for us. Tank depth of three. Oh, that's, that's a little bit new too. More protein skim skimmers, power pumps <gasps> that can connect two places further away. Oh my gosh! You know what? Let's go with the power pump first. <laughs> and you can give staff different... What? I can give them different priority tasks for... E oh my word. Okay, so we can set different priorities and increase and decrease the priorities for staff. I had no idea. I thought that was related to their skill level. So we're definitely going to work on that. Um, Since it's going to be a while to get the lighting for the sponge, I'm going to go ahead and... We're going to go for the porcupine fish. And they will eat crustaceans. Why is everyone going to eat my crustaceans? How about the coral beauty? It cannot be housed with... It's a plant lover that cannot be housed with a bully. And it may eat or damage stony corals. Oh boy. Uh, the schooling banner fish is an active swimmer and requires a round tank or a tank with depth of at least 30. Oh, there's so many choices. Let's go with porcupine puffer fish first. Oh, so many to choose from. Oh my gosh, this is this is becoming a big place. I kind of want to put the coral section like over here. So eventually we'll expand over into this direction. I think adding in more food spots for all of the fish is definitely a good thing. Uh, and I'm also going to need to add in more tool stations. Because I think the tool stations also have something where they only add new things every morning. Like you run out of supplies, which is a bit of a cool feature now that I finally noticed it. it. Might take me a while to pick up on some of these things, but we get there eventually. All right, there. Everything's nice and tidy back there. Not really, but we're going to pretend. <laughs> All right, so let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, I 
think what I want to work on next is maybe... Can I check on what the guests think about everything somewhere? Oh wait, we need to actually work with a couple of these new people. Need Daisy Star Polyps? I heard you want some Daisy Star Polyps. I could supply you with some, but I need something from you first. An important client needs a puffer, porcupine puffer fish, but I'm having trouble locating one. If you can su uh, supply me with one, I'll sell you as many Daisy Star Polyps as you'd like. Yay! Okay, so we need to work on getting the porcupine puffer fish. And then I have a couple of toadstool leather corals I'm willing to donate. Perhaps we could work together on the design of a tank. Objective requirements, build a tank with a schooling banner fish, three different plants, one fully grown moray eel, sufficient water quality, and sufficient heating, and then we get two toadstool leather uh, corals. I suppose I hear your suggestions. <laughs> All right, so we need to work on a couple different things. Oh my gosh, and one of the panther groupers has grown up to size 14. Oh, groupers. Oh my gosh, they're beautiful. And look at the little cowfish staring us straight in the face. I love cowfish. I am a huge fan of cowfish. Uh, also, there's more people who need to use the restroom and don't seem to be able to find one. So I think we'll go ahead and build another little restroom like back here. And I kind of think I want to expand back here quite a bit and maybe make another tank that I could put in some cowfish. So come here, little guy. Well, actually, let's see who would be our biggest ecology winner of the day. The red-tailed butterfly fish, the fox-faced rabbit fish. Really, the fox-faced rabbit fish bring, and the red-tailed butterfly fish bring in a ton. Yeah, they bring in a ton of ecology. So I think maybe getting some more fox-faced rabbit fish would be a good deal. And I kind of love the idea that once we get enough science, we could have their, their like, area a little further away. Oh, and there's the other panther grouper has also grown up. Oh, that's so awesome. All right. Because we're able to have some tanks that are kind of out of the way over here. And I would like to make more. But maybe making an observer. Ooh. Ooh, and this one actually would have a depth of 30. Okay. Yeah. Or like a deep observer tank like this one. That would have enough room for the schooling banner fish, wouldn't it? Oh, not that I can get the banner fish just yet. I just, I got so excited about that and I was like, wait a second, I can't actually get banner fish yet. Bowie, um, let's see, different, but we can work on everything other than the banner fish. So let's actually check out what the banner fish need again. I mean, once I can. Oh, I can't see what they are anymore. Oh wait, here we go. Okay, so they are an active swimmer requiring a tank with at least 30 depth and at least six of them. So we need to basically make a huge tank. Let's make a deep observer tank. We're gonna put it over here. I'm gonna get rid of that. And then I'm gonna come on over. And then I'm, I'm gonna make it huge. We're gonna go all the way, look at that. That's so cool. That should be plenty big enough for our awesome fish fish. We've even got like a little spot over there, nice. So we just need to focus on getting a fully grown zebra moray eel with sufficient water and heating quality. So let's just come on in. We're just gonna stick this large filter straight on it. Boom. The large heater on it, boom. So that it's got perfect temperature for everybody. And then we're gonna grab a zebra moray eel who's gonna be like, why hello, I'm tiny. I don't know what I'm doing here. Everybody's like, why doesn't it have a little rock to live in? Don't worry, friends. Ta-da! All right. And while that little guy is in here and we're waiting for the other one, I kind of want to go ahead and just get a bunch of fox face rabbit fish. I think I'm going to do that. I think we're going to just have a whole bunch of fox face rabbit fish. And we'll either sell them or we will go ahead. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of fox face rabbit fish. We will either sell them or we will go ahead and, um, is that enough filtering? Oh, geez. Oh, wait, I think it's because I got too many. Here, here, where's another one of your kind? Can you go in here? Nope, tank is full. Um, here. There we go. All right, still a little full. May have overdone it over there. 
how about now? Okay, now now we're better. <laughs> all right. Look at all those fox face rabbit fish. See, we're gonna be fine. I'm sure this is gonna work out totally fine. We can add in some kelp over here. We need at least three different plants. Um, <gasps> yay, and we have unlocked the power pump. Boom. All right, let's get that power light going. We got a lot of science in this place. Don't let anyone tell you differently. Oh, and the new feather plant. <gasps> yes, I want a couple of those over here. And then we're gonna put in some sea lettuce. Ta-da! Now we have at least three different plants. So, I I mean, build a tank, forging for toadstools, build a tank with at least six different banner fish. I have three different plants in here. Sufficient water quality. I guess it, it waits until you get the banner fish, but I have prepared the tank. Now we just need to wait until I can prepare the banner fish. Which should go over just fine. But until then, I can like put in a little bathroom over here. We can start putting down some benches because people are really going to want to sit in. Oh no, they're making a mess over here, friends. I think we need to like start hiring people just to clean. Because like we've got a lot going on. Yes, and now we can work on the schooling banner fish. <laughs> this is so exciting. I think I need to hire someone legitimately just to focus on cleaning. Do I have anybody who can just focus on cleaning? Feeding, feeding and fixing, fixing. Miko, she's got a natural talent for working with mechanics. A lot of fishing. For forgetful Kiki just wants to be left to her feeding. <laughs> All right, we're gonna hire Kiki. And we're gonna tell Kiki that she is going to focus on feeding, but then she's also going to focus on uh, cleaning. And hopefully between all of that, we'll get something done. <laughs> but all right, guys. So thank you so much for joining me on this amazing adventure. I am loving, 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 loving the time we get to spend with all of our fish fish. I cannot wait to see all of the different creatures we'll be able to unlock and all of the beautiful things we will eventually be able to build. This is just really introducing me to a new love of the wonders of the world of water that we all share. And if you guys could, do please leave a like for our little fish fish. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye!